What was he thinking? That's the question a lot of people were asking after a Nashville bar worker was arrested for his role in the Capitol riot. Now just released cell phone video from that man who became known as the zip tie guy is providing some answers. News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams has been on this story since day one. Phil. Well, guys, after the January 6th insurrection, a federal appeals court ruled that Eric Munchell and his mother could safely be released from jail while they await trial. That decision was based in part on this video, which we are seeing for the very first time. During the riot at the U.S. Capitol, one image quickly captured the public's attention. The so-called zip tie guy photographed in the U.S. Senate gallery with a handful of plastic handcuffs and a Tennessee patch and cell phone on his vest. That man, Eric Munchell from Nashville and his mother, Lisa Eisenhardt of Georgia, would later be arrested on federal charges. You guys look like y'all ready to go. I Ready to it up. Now this video from Munchell's camera is providing fresh insight into the pair's actions on January 6th. Just let the men go. If you're afraid, don't go. If you're afraid, don't go. Are you proud boys? No, we're not proud. We're boys. proud Americans. We're proud Americans. Yes. As the so-called proud Americans push through the crowd trying to get to the Capitol, they encounter another rioter, apparently retreating from his own scuffle with police. Did you get flashbanged and pepper spray? I got maced, I punched two of them in the face. Good. Rip the fences down. Come on through, brother. Take a hole. While everyone else is on their couch, you guys are training. You get ready. Stop, pull back right now. The Capitol riot, driven by the lie that the 2020 election had been stolen, quickly became one of the most dramatic moments in modern American history. This is on the news, that guy was saying. Somebody was saying this is on the news. Oh, yeah, duh, yeah. They're gonna use this against us as hard as they can. I don't care, that's fine. They can. But we ain't playing nice no more. Inside the Capitol, the riot temporarily shut down the certification of Joe Biden's election. Outside, they celebrated. Congress is shut down. Tear gas package was thrown in the Congress. After nearly 40 minutes, Munchell and Eisenhart finally break through the crowd. It's probably the last time I'll be able to enter the building with armor and blood, you know, uh, weapons. But I guess I thought we were playing. Go this way. 38 minutes in. It's going to get spicy. This is the moment when mother and son finally make it inside the seat of our nation's government. Although it doesn't appear they actually had much of a plan once they got there. As they roam the Capitol, don't vandalize anything. We are Antifa. Munchell finds his souvenirs. Zip ties. Hey, give me some of them. The zip ties that would bring him so much attention. They're my. This video shows the moment when rioters confront Senate ushers forcing their way into the gallery. One frightened staff member quickly finds himself surrounded by the mob. Anybody home? A mob that quickly overtakes a Senate chamber that has been evacuated. After entering the Senate gallery, the video shows the mother and son walked around for a few minutes and then quietly headed out. As a result of their January 6th adventure, they now face a possible 10 years in federal prison.